Well, I'm having a cup of tea on the floor with Dennis. Blimey, I've had a action-packed hour. So I always walk Lizzie to a corner to meet her friend. We stood there, we stood there, and we stood there. She didn't show up. So I text her mum, and Lizzie's ever so worried about this friend. I don't know why. Like upsetting her or doing the wrong thing all the time. But she never does. You going to go up there, tell them? And then it got so late, oh, this is so boring, that we just, I said, Lizzie, we've just got to go. So I've just had to walk her, like, way further than I normally do. Like, at full pelt, because we were late. Well, we weren't late, but she was made late. I was so boring. But anyway, <laughs> I was out for way longer than I should have been. My friend who was supposed to be coming round tomorrow for a roast, one of them, her little girl is poorly, so she won't be coming. I don't know whether the other one will still. Or if we're going to postpone until Tuesday. I'll see what they say. Anyway, I'm going to finish this, but I mean business today. I am going to have a good old clean and tidy, especially in the kitchen. Because this room had a good old seeing to when um, I, here he is, did the Christmas room. So I'll just need to top and tail this room. Right, I'm going to go because I'm boring. I've got to do the ironing first. Do you remember us buying this bed over, I think it was Vlogtober, and no one would get in it? Well, things have changed. Lillian loves this bed. This is just right for you, isn't it, in this weather? And I know I'm being dramatic over the weather. People have commented saying that it's minus 35 where they are, Lillian. And look at us. We like overreacting, don't we, eh? Show me series in number eight. I love her, do you? Is it eight? Oh my goodness gracious me. Well, you look very, very smart. I had to look him up because I wasn't too sure who he was, but it's Mr Bouncer. And I've seen pictures of him smacking Peter Rabbit's bum. So I'm going to put him over here because I don't want him... He can keep an eye on everybody, but I don't want him to ruin the fun. I imagine he'd be the sort of person who'd say, Come on, pack it in. Come on, pack it in. Like that. So he can keep an eye on everybody and not get too involved. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's, this is alpaca, so it's all hairy. And just like that, everything is done. My skin looks dry today. I think I needed to put a bit more moisturiser on. Look how crinkly I look. Anyway, everything's done. I've given everything a really good clean... Uh, I haven't done the ironing, but I've got to have something in the oven tonight for quite a while. Lizzie's making her bolognese today at school, so come on. Yes, Ian's coming over. So I've, I'm going to make a pasta bake with the bolognese that she brings home, because she's only making the sauce. So whilst that's bubbling away in the oven, I'm going to get the ironing done. So I'm having an afternoon off. I've made myself... Come on, Ian. I've made myself a pint of coffee... An actual pint of coffee. Come on, my babe. Oh, I think I'm going to get Jimmy titted. Oh, I am, because I've, I've got the attracted blanket on. Yes. So things have just got even better, because little Ian has turned up now. I've got my hot water bottle. I've got two chocolate biscuits. James is on his way back, so I'm hoping he will have used his initiative and uh, purchased some mince pies from the shop. I've got my book, which I've got such a incy wincy tiny bit left to read. So I'm going to try and finish that. And I'm going to watch Coronation Street. I haven't done this in a while, so I'm really looking forward to it. Right, and I'm going to do some knitting on my Advent uh, scarf as well, which I'll show you a bit later. 
Johnny's going to be back from school, actually, from college in a little while. I hope he's got a key, because that's going to ruin it, isn't it, if I have to get up. He should have. He's quite good at that sort of stuff. Right, I'm going. I'm talking quick, because I want to get started. See you later. Hello, Johnny. Hello. Are you um, ready for your deal? All right. Um, here's the goods. Who's your payment? Probably. Half of our chocolate today. Thank you for lucky thing. Five gold rings. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> you love it, don't you, Lillian? Because all of these are named after a song. Oh. Yeah. James didn't know what was going on then. <laughs> Let's keep the Advent fun coming. James has just opened his. Day eight, he got not just one, but two bags of Terry's chocolate orange, crispy oranges, and he's just told me they're like Maltesers. Sort of. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Wow. Mmm. Nice. Of course, it's foisty, isn't it? I've had to put a blanket round me because I know, because I'm cold. Well, Pauline normally sleeps on this. No, I'm all right. It'll be all right. Look, since I've updated my phone. Can you see that? Yeah. yeah. I wonder what that is. Right, so we're going to try some Stollen. Now, controversially, we're going to do two tonight. Well, why is oh. that controversial? Yeah, and I'll tell you why, James. Because I think these are the same. So tonight we're going to try Aldi specially selected 10 Stollen bites. Now, these are bites, and I know that I say that the bites are normally dry. That's you shaking Sorry. your legs about. These don't look dry because they look like the, the dry bits have been cut off. Oh, we've got baby Ian with us in his little oh, he's bit me in his little bed. And we've also got Lidl. I've just nudged it, James. Right. I, I can't be professional, can I, with you around? Ah. But look, the boxes are exactly the same. Can you see that the window is in the same place? And they're both exactly 230 grams. I remember seeing something somewhere where there's a number on something, not the barcode, or something oh, else. Nice. What? This. I know. Where you can tell if it's been manufactured in the same place, because I understand that um, what's it and. Um, some other kind of cheese puffs are all made in the same factory and once they were all put in the wrong bags. I think these are the same, so I thought we'd compare and contrast and do an experiment that we used to when we were in, in school. I'll be interested to see. Uh, hang on. So this is 23, the Aldi one is 20, what are you doing Lizzie? Is 23% marzipan. And the little one is 22%. So there's a difference already. Maybe I'm wrong. They don't look the same. Look. Yeah, yeah, they do look a bit they different. I'll tell you what, you open those and I'll open these. Oh, look one handed. Oh, it's nice having the cat look as bomb, <laughs> isn't it? Whilst we do. Oh, yeah, they're very different. I'm they wrong. Look nicer. I think they look nicer. So I've got the Aldi ones here. James is ripping into his local one. <laughs> Ian's gone to sleep. Hang on, let me. Oh, oh they smell alcoholic. James, those ones. But mm. right, let's not get mixed up. Right, so I've got the Aldi ones. Come on, James, now you demonstrate yours. What would you show us? Yeah. I've just upgraded the tablecloth into quite a dark one with mince pot with puddings on it that James got me. It's got all ice and sugar over it now. So let's hold up one each. So my theory is wrong. Blimey, look at the size of that. And James has got a little one. There you go, put it next to it so we can see it. There, look at they are different, aren't they? Yeah. Maybe they just buy their boxes from the same place. Right, so let's start with 
and Aldi. Oh, what a thick layer of marzipan. Can you see that? I actually smell. think, I know you Go say, on. smell it, smell it. Oh, I know that you say they don't look like the picture, but I think these, these look better than the picture. So here's the picture, everybody. Right. Yeah, they look the same. Look at that. <laughs> that is my kind of. I think I'm. This gets up my nose, this snowflake stuff. Oh well, I'm going to sneeze. Come on. <laughs> These are very pleasant, aren't they? Mmm. Oh, I love them. Do you? Don't you like it? No, I don't really like stars. <laughs> Alright. This one tastes like Christmas cake to me, yeah. which is lovely. But just bread it. Mm. It's not as nice. You know what you'd like with it? Something what you else. always have with your rice pudding. With not with what? your rice pudding. <laughs> he has had rice pudding with Christmas cake before. That's why that came into my head. You would like a bowl of these with custard. Yeah. You would like that. Because custard's nice though. Mm. Well, they were nice. They were. Now well, let's go across the middle and see what they've got to offer us. The least sugary one. Why would you no, want the least sugary soft. one? Well, mine's not. Mine's as hard as a rock. Well, I mean, these have got a lot of alcohol in them, haven't they? But they don't smell it. Those ones smell of alcohol, these ones taste of it. I think you'd get wrecked if you had too many of these. Well, we'll find out. I'll probably eat the lot. Hmm. Cool. If you like alcohol tasting stuff, these are the ones for you. Who's having a lovely wash? Here he is. Hmm. If you can watch this, oh. you just watch us <laughs> chewing. It's my worst nightmare. Blimey. I'm decided. I saw a lady today. Mm -hmm. Drinking a drink with two hands. Mm -hmm. Plus, she showed me someone else the other day. Okay, no. It's not that annoying if it's a lady. It's when it's one oh. of my friends. Ah. That's what it is. If it's a Some man. Some big jack dude drinking it with two hands. That's what annoys me. So, you don't want girls doing it then? Well, no. Well, they <coughs> What the hell was that? Someone just tapped oh, the dog. Oh, Ian! Come, in, Come on, Lily, and out of his way. Come on, Lily. Right. She's all right. Cor, cool, he's, he's a bully. He doesn't know when to stop. Sometimes that boy. I've just remembered I've, my flies are undone. I right. just stood up. I don't know if anyone noticed. Poor Lillian, come on, come to Mama, come on, my darling. Lily, come she's on. Had a busy day though. She hasn't. She's been out of bed twice. This <laughs> is the third time she's been out of that little nook. That she's been in all day. Now oh, come on. Come on, my darling. What did he do, that mean baby? Right. So, I'm not a fan of that alcoholic tasting one, James. Those ones were nicer. Yeah, the little, one, the little ones were a bit too alcohol tasting. But if you like alcohol tasting things, then they're the ones for you. If you like something that tastes like Christmas cake, go for the Aldi ones. Right, so let's do our scores, James. Although, although what? This is really boring. I don't know why I sound so excited. They've got a picture of that on it. But these were down the Christmas aisle in Aldi, and these were down the mental chainsaw and crash helmet aisle. So oh, what are you talking about? They come from the middle aisle. Yeah. So the little were from the middle of little. That's do you what get they this stuff it. that's not? Christmas. You need to get it. Oh, I'd say this is a Christmas thing. Oh. I'm just looking at calories. So Aldi are 86 calories per bite. 
and the Lidl are 89. Right, come on then, Jamesy. Oh, they're bites, yeah, they're only bites. Cake, yeah. Let's score them. So, what do you give the Audi ones? Which of these really ones? Nice yeah. Seven. Yeah. So, James gives them seven. Mm. I will give them an eight because they taste like Christmas cake and I love Christmas cake. So, that means they get a score of 15. Now, let's do the little ones, James. I'm going to give them five because they're a bit dry. I couldn't really taste the marzipan, but I do think I bit it the wrong way round. It's a bite. It's putting it in one, aren't you? If you're a wild animal, James. <laughs> one? Try. I'm try. Yeah, go on then. Mm. Yeah, you can't eat that in a water, can you? Oh my goodness me. I didn't even look like you then, pulling them faces. <laughs> Darling, I'm going to put you down. If he gets you again, just tell me, all right? What is that on my foot? Oh, it's Dennis. <laughs> right. What did I say? A five. They've got almonds on. Yeah. That one has two on the bottom. Look. Because I saw them. Oh, that one hasn't got any on. What do you say for them then? Five as well. Oh, <laughs> blimey. So that means they just get a ten. Shall we have a look at the scoreboard? Come on, James. Well. Oh, okay. So we've got to do a little bit of moving around. <laughs> What? Okay, well, we might ruin someone's Christmas if we don't give the right advice. So now we've got Aldi specially selected in second place. Third are the Waitrose Run of the Mill. Fourth. I thought you were going to colour this in. Little, oh yeah, I forgot. Little Deluxe. I'll get Lizzie to do that for me at the weekend. Little Deluxe. And last, which I still They're don't the like. Ones. Yeah. They're from the co op. I saw and them today. I saw some in Tesco yesterday, apple flavoured ones. But I thought we, we don't like them ones, so we won't bother. And we've got enough. So there we are, everybody. That is the leaderboard as it is at the moment. What is the date today? It's the 8th of Je uh, yeah. what day is it? December. December. So anything could happen. Anything could happen in this competition. Exciting stuff. It just smells so alcoholic round here, doesn't it? Mm. It's lovely. Well, is it? I like the smell of them. Just because it's, it's like Christmas, but I don't like really like the taste of it. I feel like I'm sitting on this jumper and it's pulling me back. Right then, music time, James. Let's get the machine out. Your favourite bit. Oh, I had a message from my friend Sharon. You know Sharon, don't yeah. you? And she said that maybe the person who was buying all of the um, carpet stuff maybe had a puppy. Or something like that. Isn't it funny how my mind automatically went murder? It's because we watched too many. Yeah, <laughs> rather than anything lovely like a puppy. I just instantly thought some bad's happened there, some dodgy. What was it? I can't remember. Someone bought Man had bought three Wilco own carpet cleaner, one Dr. Beckman, and one another brand. So five bottles of carpet cleaner. Probably trying to sell it out. Really? Surely you'd just rent a rug doctor then have to get oh, wow. all back. <laughs> <laughs> What's a rug doctor? A massive square that you can rent to... What? What do you mean? They used to have them in home base. Home base, what do you as mean? they say around here. It's a big square that's got a handle on it and you push it around and it does a all carpet your... carpet cleaner? Yeah. It's called a rug doctor. It's not a big... It's not called a big square. Rug dog, that's cool. It's a big cube. So what's today? Seventh. 
8th. What's the date? 8th. We didn't do one yesterday, did we? Did we do number 6? Probably. Let me have a look. How many do I remember? No, we did not. <laughs> No, right, so we'll do number six first. Come on, you ready? What is it then? Come on, James, join in. <laughs> right, this one is Let Us Be Happy and Cheerful. I like this one. Look at number 16. Can't wait for you to read out that one and that one. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that was lovely. That was um, "Let Us Be Happy and Cheerful." Number seven. We'll all know this one. This one's a banger. You ready? Joyful and triumphant, oh come ye, oh come ye to Bethlehem. <laughs> what? That's the words, isn't it? Yeah. Oh come, let us adore him. At school, we used to have to go. I nearly did it then when you sang what? the first bit. Did you? Yeah. What? Go a little bit louder yeah. and then like really if belt we out the last this, bit. I probably would. <laughs> did you? See, he does join in really. He just tries to like call in front of you. Lot. I do not. Right, number eight. So we all know that one. Number eight, which has got a lovely picture of some sheep on it. And some cows. Joseph, my dear Joseph. Oh, this will get the subscribers pressing the bell, won't, won't it, James? <laughs> I might unsubscribe. Don't yeah, I don't blame you. Oh, are you going to hit the unsubscribe button? <laughs> well, that one's called... Class. It's high-pitched, isn't it? Mm. Joseph, my dear Joseph. Tomorrow's a good one. Look at that one. That's a good one, that one, isn't it? Make sure you tune in tomorrow, everybody, for this one. But James is going out tomorrow, so painting the town red. So I don't know if he'll be around for, for this sort of nonsense. Maybe we could do it in the afternoon when my mum takes the children Christmas shopping. Well, that'll do. I can't believe we've just... Oh, 17 minutes. That's mm. way too long, isn't it? Yeah. But we did do two. We didn't talk like when we used to do this. We oh, talk here, about what was here in he it. Here he goes again. No, but we did, didn't we? Here didn't we? he goes again. What like proper review? Well, like say well, what's in it, and you'd say, "Oh, there's sultanas in." Well, this why one. don't you say that then, and I'll join in. The same. <laughs> well, maybe they all tasted the same last time. We didn't have these ones last time, though. The last ones we got from Aldi, I remember them. They were like those Baker Lane ones. No, Baker Street. I we haven't had any of the big giant things I've bought. You've only bought one. And I'm going by I'm order of expiry cup. date. Ah. Yeah, there was one in Tesco yesterday, a big log. <laughs> why does that make me laugh? I know why, I'll tell you a story in a minute. <laughs> All right. Right, I think that'd better do. I'm going to have a cup of tea and I'm going to have some more of these Aldis. I'll probably have some Lidl's as well. Right, over and out everybody. What am I doing tomorrow? I've got a haircut in the morning at 9 o'clock. It's got a date on Saturday, isn't it? Oh, yes, me and James are spending the whole day together. We're going to give the children some money, aren't we? Because there's a, a, a market in town, a Christmas market. And we're going to go to Costa and we'll go to Starbucks as well. And we're going to try all the Christmas drinks that they've got. And we're going to walk hand in hand through town. 
aren't we? Mm. And then we're going to come home and watch, um, I don't know, some sort of... Football? Yeah, we're going to watch. I was really hoping that the football was going to be on at about one or two so we could have gone to the pub and watched it. Mm. We would have liked that. That's where we met, you know, watching football. I scarred off work. Neither of us didn't like football. Really. Oh no, I, just, I like watching football in a pub. I like watching England play in yeah. a pub. That, there's nothing like it, James. Dennis's tail is under the chair, under the. Someone's knocked a chair over the, the other side. The leg of the so. chair. Yeah. Yeah. Well, everybody, I think that'll do. I don't know why I feel like I had a bit of news for everybody, but I don't think there is any. About what? Is it something I would know? Or knitting related? Ooh. No, I don't think so. I didn't name my friend's fish today. I'm going to do that next time. We didn't really talk very much about the fish. But we will next time. We'll, I'm going to name them. I'm going on Tuesday next week, so a bit earlier. Right, anyway, everybody. We're going to go. I'm going to go and put Lillian back in her bed. And cover her up like a baby. She's good, isn't she, for a ten-year-old? She's lazy, though, isn't she? Very, very lazy. Right, come on, James. Let's have enough of this. Oh, blimey. Right, see you tomorrow, everybody.